I think for now I'm just gonna work on some barrels. I just want to get my KC up for the last achievement. We're not even halfway there yet, and in the meanwhile we can end up getting some uh, barrel item for rune coins, maybe get a trimmed Emmy for the log, and of course elite barrel scrolls for more elite barrels later. Elite barrels are still really good rune coins, and it's not like I'm done with it. I would love to have the Varax flail and all of that stuff as well. Uh, plus, one of the challenges is to get four items, and I think that is a hundred dollar bomb. But let me check real quick. Like all my challenges list, right? I look at the elite barrel items. Okay, so there's two of them. The elite uh, barrels complete log, like completing the collection log is for three mystery tickets. And then I believe four weapons is for a $100 bot. So I have two separate challenges for them. I wouldn't mind completing those someday in the future. Not a rush by any means, but it would just, you know, it would be nice to get done. So yeah, we still also have three keys and just stocking up on items is never a bad idea. But before we get into barrels, let's go ahead and do some Scotizos. I have a total of uh, 13 totems at the moment, I believe, and one spare piece. Scotizo itself can also drop pieces, so I might get an extra one, you never know. But uh, let's go ahead and see what we get from that. I got 10 on me right now. Well, we just used that one to enter, but yeah, let's go ahead and see. Hopefully we can get the pets. Pet is probably the best thing I could hope for, because then we can just get more. And other than that, sacred tokens. I still don't have a single one on the account, ironically enough. And of course, ancient shards, so we can work on stacking up 100 of those. That would be great as well. A cute little master task bottle on the second kill. Well, first real good drop of the day. Almost done, I think I have to bang now. But six ancient shards, we'll gladly take that. And a dark toad middle piece. Man, I can't even loot all the... Uh, fuck the 82k. <laughs> so yeah, all together from the first eight kills. Two totem pieces. Master task bottle, we need that for the login and a bunch of random shit. Not too shabby, but... I would love to see more shards, please. Scortizo is basically the main way of getting ancient shards. There's one more NPC you can kill inside the max kill. I think it's like an ancient titan or something. And they are slow. Let me look at it. Yeah, 1 in 30 for one shard. Doesn't seem too bad at first sight, but you will spend a lot of time there. I mean, if you're trying to get 100 uh, shards there from scratch, it's an average of 3,000 kills. Maybe a little bit less if you get some doubled. But that's a lot, and they're annoying, they don't aggro on you, so you have to, you know, it's not AFKable and shit like that, so preferably we get as many as possible from Scotizo. That's another big reason I wanted to do 50 hours of Abbeys in the near future. We're getting close, okay? I really want to do it. <laughs> I've been saying that so much, but I think that will really help with getting the 100 Ancient Shots, but not feeling as much of a, a need quite yet until we get the Grand Max Cave. There's nothing you can do with them until we get that, right? So getting 100 shards right now isn't a, a priority, but I would like to get as close as possible with the totems we have gotten so far. I mean, we're already at a 26 kill, so like, why not, right? Also, no idea what the achievement we just got gives. Okay, it's nothing special. Little point mystery chest. Thought just in case it might give like an extra totem or something, but that's not the case. Hey, another three shards, doubled to six, and I think with that totem base we got, we have one extra totem as well. Another Grandmaster bottle, that is unfortunate. My second one here. Nothing special from the last few kills, unfortunately. But if we just uh, dump everything, I should have three more totem pieces for a full one. Yep, beautiful. Okay, so we can do one extra kill. Not expecting much though, and then uh, I think that should bring us to a total of 22 Ancient Shards. So 22 out of 100, but we have many more Scotizos to go in the future anyway. Uh, there is a challenge somewhere for the full Scotizo log, and I would love to get the pet, and there's a lot of benefit to it in general, especially in the future. Once I have the uh, 100 Shards to unlock the cave, any additional Shards and Sacred Tokens can be used to uh, enchant Grand Crests, which is not too shabby at all either. And of course, there's a lot of logs we need to get in the future. Probably including the sacred token log. Not because I want to get it, but it's just one of those things you kind of got to get in. There's a lot of achievements related to collection log points, as well as the collection pendant 4, which is just nice to have. Gives extra drop rate after all. But yeah, nothing else. Oh, wait, no, no, there is something. Three shots right there. So that brings us to 25, one fourth of the way exactly. Couldn't ask for more, honestly, I like that. So yeah, 
Um, not too shabby at all. I think we're at like 28 Cascotizo kills then. Something along those lines. And now I'm just uh, gonna chill at Barrows and try and get some runs done. Yeah, 25. Great. Used up six more keys. Decent amount of items. Two extra in here, I think. Yeah. And uh, five scrolls so far. Not too shabby. I just wish I would have seen a 25 scroll drop by now. I mean, we're over 200 KC without ever seeing it once. Never had it on this account yet. So I think it's about damn time we start seeing some more. And uh, yeah, no trip to ME either, but I'm just keep running for a bit. I'll check you guys when I'm done, probably. I mean, there's not much to say about Barrows, is there? Unless I get the log, then I'll show that. <laughs> Another Caress Piece 3 and a Guffin War Spear in one chest, I'll take it. Caress Pieces are always welcome. I think I have 3 Caress Piece 1, 3 Caress Piece 3 at the moment. So if only I got some Caress Piece 2s, maybe from Zora later down the line, then I could uh, make a few more, but again, no rush. We'll just take whatever we can get along the way. I'm well, not seeing too much crazy shit, only 10 scrolls so far. At 248kc now, not too shabby. But besides that, the merchant has reset, so let's have a look at our new tasks. We barely did anything last week besides Dragon Warhammers, because we weren't that lucky. Hopefully this time around it's a bit better. We can also finally get elite tasks, but as you can see, those are borderline impossible anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Magic Longbow U. 1,497 of those, might be doable, well it is doable, 3 Darox plates, and just this your arm guard. Yikes, I don't think I'll get to TOBing this week, if it was a chest guard I could have actually done that, that would have been nice. Yeah, right there. And then uh, magic longbows, well, I guess we're gonna have to make a bunch, and Darox plates, a uh, zero, all those barrel runs, I haven't had one, damn, even though we got a good amount of items nonetheless, but... Not the Derox. Alright, first step finally completed. Opal Bolts E. I have a strong feeling I don't have those. <laughs> I'll probably have to make those, and I barely even have Opals. I don't know if it's enough though, but... What fucking bolts do you attach those to? The Opal ones. Wait. An old school runescape, it's with uh, Bolt. Or, uh, bolt? Yeah, no shit, Bolts. Bronze ones. Is there even... A way to get bronze bolts, or do you just have to smith those? Oh yeah, that's not happening. Huh. Guess I'll have to smith those. Mm. Fucking great. What was my other task? Oh yeah, Dark Blade, buddy. Just this here arm guard and a Grand Ring Eye. Oh, this is gonna be a rough week. I just wanna get enough Wanderer tokens for an exotic inbox again, though. Yikes. Well, at least we get the first 34. Dark Blade is also doable. Yeah, this is going to be a process. Um, right, I need to make a whole bunch of them and enchant them. Oh, this is going to be so ass. I do have enough opals to make all the bolt tips. That's not the issue. The issue is more so the fact that uh, I don't know if I have enough bronze bars. I think I do. 331. Surely that's enough, right? If we just grab those and make them all into bolts. That should be like 3,000 of them or something. Oh, so annoying. How many do we need exactly? 1759. I'm gonna just remember that number for now. I say as I remove it, 1759. Let's go ahead and get started on this grind. Alright, first few steps completed. Jesus, luckily I have enough cosmic runes. They don't appear as often as you would think. Uh, cosmic and air, that should be fine. Do I have a staff for that? Yes, I do. Okay, great. I think enchanting bolts has been made easier as well. Can you just. How does this work? Just click them? How many does that make? It, it doesn't really say. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, time to enchant all of them and then uh, we can move on and trade it in. Hey, we're done. I guess I'll go back to Barrows to try and get three Dark Blades for the time being. At least until I get some more scrolls. Of course it's six room kites. Why the fuck wouldn't it be? How many do we have of those? Well, the regular trim one, right? Seems like we got none. Jeez. Yeah, Rune Kite Shield T. God damn it. T. Yeah, that's literally all we have. Wowzers. Well, that's a bust. So there's nothing else we can do except for the Dark Blades. That is not looking too great. Wow, for the first time ever, 25 Elite Scrolls. 
at long last it only took 251 runs I'm happy to see it all right we're gonna be uh, doing a little bit of elite barrels let's see if we can get anything good today the weapons are my biggest priority anyway I just want to get some items, some rune points. I heard the Shazy and Greaves and the Helm is in the uh, Wanderer right now. Sorry, Major Wisdom. Um, which means I would have to sacrifice an additional 125 Wanderer tokens to get both. But rune point wise, I don't have enough anyway. I could, however, get the Helmet. That's the cheaper part. I definitely have 15k right now. I just want to see if I can do my medium first. Just in case the second medium step ends up being like... Well, a different barrel speed that I would normally rune coin, you know? Just in case. Anyway, I'll check you guys uh, when we get a rare chest, I suppose? Let me check my KC real quick, just so we can track a little bit. 135 is where we're starting off on today. <laughs> rare chest in the very first one. Let's get a rare chest first try. <laughs> Incredible job! Well, Guffin's War Spear, I'll take it. I'll gladly take it. Crespi's one for my boy. That is our third weapon on the very first one. That is so nice. You'll love to see it. 136kc, just to prove it. Huh. Awesome. One more weapon and we'll have another challenge done. That's cool. Although I don't have any $100 bonds left. Oh, I do. I haven't used it yet. But I am able to claim it. Um, odd. Why haven't I used that yet? Might have forgotten to on stream. I'm going to just do that real quick. But yeah, Govan War Spear basically uh, unlocks Corporal Beast for us. I'm going to just show you guys. Obtain Max Cape was $100. The Ring of Condensing, the Default Boots, the Brimstone Staff, and then the Staff of Light and Arcane String Necklace combination for a total of five $100 bonds. And it was, this was the fifth one, obviously. You know, considering I only uh, get five $100 bonds per, you know, full in-name. So yeah, that's awesome, and that brings us to uh, 875. Maybe I didn't use it yet because I didn't need to use it yet, but yeah. So I am officially out of $100 bonds, so if I do get another one, it will just be unclaimed until I can finally complete a grand promo one and the last three mystery tickets that I get from the grand promo. That is assuming I don't get a mystery ticket one completed before we do the grand promo, and as soon as I do the promo, I can get to use the mystery tickets. That's no problem. But uh, yeah, that's awesome. Third weapon and basically unlocking Corp. I don't think I'll start doing that anytime soon. Corp is a little bit scary, but it's nice to have nonetheless. So hopefully the Varrocks flow next. boys it's a beautiful new day and an update came out and I just made a video covering the majority of the update and what was changed and what was added and bloody 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 blah there are some definitely some nice changes like the chambers log being added and fire watches now also drop a brand new sickle so that was added to the game the blister wood sickle really happy about that I uh, got it in eight kills on Raymond real quick for the video kind of lucky on that one I would love to get it on this account as well, but I first gotta get Shazy in a uh, full armor set. And there's no real usage for blood shards at the moment for me anyways, I'm not in too much of a rush. Now I didn't end up buying any of the Shazy in pieces last night. First of all, I don't have enough rune coins to buy multiple anyway. And second of all, I'm not in a huge rush to get it by any means. I don't mind waiting a little bit longer for that, like, it's fine with me. Uh, also, there's new Wanderer Elixirs you can buy for 50 Wanderer tokens each, so that is pretty cool. And uh, a few few other small things here and there, but it's mainly like a prelude, quality of life changes and stuff. And I'm really looking forward to the next update that drops. Also, they released the uh, Affliction item drop rates, and they also added the fact that uh, 5 Afflictions now increases the odds of a purple being an Affliction item compared to using four affliction tomes so that is pretty cool as well uh, but we aren't ready to rate quite yet on this account i hope to do some elite barrels today as well 
Still gotta get those three dark plates, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a little bit of normal barrel runs. Try to stock up on a few more scrolls and maybe uh, by tonight we can run some more. Maybe Nightmare, I don't know yet. I might start switching a bit more to the group Iron Man and start playing on that account a little bit again as well. Just to try and make some progress here and there on uh, the MGI. Kinda wanna get a rune escape <laughs> now that we can finally enter contests. Just got another 25 scrolls. We got 25 earlier as well and another 10 scrolls. Or uh, 5 actually, so we're looking pretty good. Already got 55 just today. 292 KC, slowly creeping up. Pretty happy about it altogether. Finally seeing some good fucking scroll drops about goddamn time. And I finally get one Derek play buddy as well. Two more to go. Hopefully we can uh, find someone to run some elite barrels with in a bit. To uh, try and get the other ones. And I'm still looking for that stupid Trent Amulet. Hopefully we can get that soon as well. I would love to get another uh, minigame box. Yeah, yeah, you do get a minigame box from this. Who knows, maybe it will be something juicy. Preferably some magic tokens. We just got another beautiful crest piece numero uno. Still missing number twos to make full crest, but I'll gladly take that from Barrows. Where to trim them yet though? <laughs> We're now at uh, 317 KC. Yes! Let's go double Derek's Blade Buddy! Oh, my life is completed! We can finally do our medium task! Yes! I was like, man, I'm so dry on these blah blah, suddenly I get two in one chest. Absolutely beautiful. Go ahead and uh, deliver that shit and see what our second step will be. Hopefully it's another uh, barrel item related one, that would be great, because we have quite a few pieces right now, but... Let's just see first. I really want to do some rune coin exchanges soon, so we can just get rid of all of these. Seven Amulet of Fury, and again, what was my easy again? Oh yeah, those fuckeries, and then the heart was just this, your arm guard, of course, of course. But 84 tokens for that, absolutely beautiful. I'm, I'm just gonna spend it. Send it, exotic mbox time, wish your boy luck, it's a... Blessing of Berserker! Wow, it's a first blessing, and they made it more rare this update. But it's an absolutely useless one. <laughs> no! It's so... Trash! Oh, yikes. Oof. Mmm. Ah, E. It increases your special attack power or some shit along those lines. Wait, can I wear it and see it? It's 25% damage when using special attacks in PvM combat. It's just that a lot of special attack weapons aren't good. I mean, I'll take it. Pretty sick to get. And it's a challenge. Um. I don't know what level. Oh, wait, wasn't it a grand promo challenge? Obtain a blessing from the merchant or exotic M boxes. Holy fuck, that's huge. Never mind, I don't care that it's trash. We got one. Holy shit! Wait a minute, that means we can finally open a grand promo. Which is actually great, because that brings us really close to resetting it. Let's see what we get. Um, oh, we got an epic pet box. Huge. Absolutely huge. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do anything with this, but I'll hold on to it for the time being, I suppose. Go ahead and see what we get. Infernal accessory. A rip. Enchanted box for a mystery chest. Rune coin box for a bonus accessory. Okay, that's cool. I mean, save some rune coins in trying to get the Master Fortune if I want to go for that. At some point, one day, perhaps. Ah, the Infernal is a shame, though. Um, $45 bonds. We'll just use that one, considering it's from the actual challenge thing. Brings us to 920, very, very close now. Three mystery tickets as well from the promo. I think that's kind of it. Kind of, the rest is kind of doo-doo. Let's open a mystery chest as well, because why not? For a regular hand cannon, it's just rune coins, honestly. But uh, altogether, we can't use the mystery tickets yet, because I do have to do a separate challenge to then be able to use those. But I'm absolutely fine with that. That is also the last challenge we need for a second one before we can earn more $100 bonds and stuff. Yeah, first grand promo. I did not expect to get it just like that. It's a shame it wasn't one of the better blessings. Armaments or the uh, Fortitude would have been huge for me. But I'll gladly take it. So now we need to find a mystery ticket challenge we can actually complete. And I think the... Oh, let me just have a look here. Um... Yeah, I don't see anything I can do relatively easy right now. Or anytime soon for that matter. Uh, 
Solo and Affliction Master Raid, nope. <laughs> Complete the Galvanic Golem Lock, quite far away. Enchant two successful Imbue Crystals, I need a bunch of stones for that. Unlock Master Raid, I guess that is the, the closest one doable. Obtain three Rune Coin Fuse Slayer Helmets. Unlock Elite Achievements, I think that's 200 achievements and 10k Rune Coins, I'm still quite far from that. Dark Sun's Bear, nope, nope. Create the Cursed Twisted Bow or Coda, I would have to get one of those weapons first. Complete all the Elite God Wars Dungeon Challenges, or Full Crest Bearer, or unlock the Chasm Quaker. That's tough, that's really, really rough. I really gotta come up with more challenges for mystery tickets, I feel like I put a, some pretty fucking rough ones in there, but um, yeah, we'll see when the time comes. For now we'll just leave it there, I'll gladly take the blessing, the stats on it itself aren't even that bad. You know, 5 strength bonus, 5 ranged strength, as if you can use it with a ranged weapon besides the blowpipe, but yeah, cool, we'll take it. And our first real accessory, we're just kinda lacking in the pet department, 